Furious 7. Deckard Shaw, Jason Statham, stands by his brother Owens, Luke Evans, beside as he lays in a coma, badly scarred and crippled after being ejected from the plane. Shaw promises to his brother that he will settle his score. He leaves the room and out into the rest of the hospital, with bodies everywhere. The building continues to burn and crumble around him. Dom, Vin Diesel, drives Letty, Michelle Rodriguez, to a track where hundreds of people from their neighborhood gather for race wars, something that Dom and Letty invented when they were younger. Letty goes up for the race and flies past her opponent as his car breaks down on the track. All the patrons cheer her on after she crosses the finish line, followed by Iggy Azalea showing up out of nowhere to congratulate Letty. The excitement from the others is too overwhelming for Letty, and she takes the car and drives away. Dom later finds her that night at the cemetery, staring at her own tombstone. Dom takes a sledgehammer to smash it, but Letty stops him, because she thinks the person she used to be is no longer who she is to Dom, and she doesn't want to hurt him for that. She bids Dom goodbye. Brian, Paul Walker, is adjusting to life as a minivan driving dad, as his son Jack is now old enough for school. Even Mia, Jordana Brewster, acknowledges that he has had trouble settling down this way. Hobbs, Dwayne Johnson, continues to do some overnight work while Elena, Elsa Pataki, is getting ready to go out. Hobbs hands her a letter of recommendation that she asked him for. He wishes her luck in her pursuits. Hobbs then sees Shaw in his office hacking into his computer. Hobbs attempts to arrest him as he is gathering the information on the crew that took down his brother. Shaw battles Hobbs through the whole floor, smashing each other through glass walls and coffee tables, while Hobbs manages to get a good chikeslam down on Shaw. Elena returns for backup as Shaw gets a grenade out. He tosses it towards the detectives, forcing Hobbs to run to Elena as the grenade explodes, sending them both out the window, where they land Hobbs first onto a van. Elena is unharmed. In the office, it is shown that Shaw was looking for Han, Sung Kang. Dom visits Mia at her home as Brian is getting Jack ready for school. Outside their house is a large package. Mia tells Dom that she is having another child, but she hasn't told Brian for fear of how he'd react to more changes. Dom gets a call from Shaw, listening to his message after killing Han. Dom realizes there's trouble, and he grabs Mia as the package explodes massively, destroying the whole house. Jack is safe in the minivan, though his parents rush to him in a panic. Dom follows Elena to Hobb's room. He tells Dom who Shaw is, including his history in the Special Forces, where he was turned into a human-killing machine. Hobbs asks Dom to promise him he will take Shaw down for good. Dom agrees. Dom flies to Tokyo to bring Han back for a proper burial. He meets with Sean Boswell, Lucas Black, Han's friend. After the two have their race, Sean gives him the only things they could find from Han's car, a picture of Giselle and a cross necklace. The gang gathers for Han's funeral, joined by Tej, Ludacris, and Roman, Therese Gibson. Dom spots a car suspiciously driving near the funeral. He follows after it, learning it is Shaw. They crash into each other in a tunnel, and they briefly fight until a team of agents come in, giving Shaw a chance to escape. Their leader, Mr. Nobody, Kurt Russell, brings Dom with him and gathers Brian, Tedge, Roman, and finally Letty to work together on a mission. A hacker known only as Ramsey has been captured by a terrorist leader named Mos Jackand, Jaiman Hounsou, because he is pursuing something Ramsey helped develop called God's Eye, which is a surveillance system that can spot anybody from anywhere in the world. Using this, Dom can locate Shaw. The guys come up with a plan to infiltrate the bus that is carrying Ramsey, while Dom asks Tedge to help him put armor on one car. The plan involves the five dropping from a jet in their cars and carefully land close to their target. Roman gets cold feet, prompting Tedge to pull the chute out on him and sucking him out of the plane. The other four land close to the bus and break in. Jack and men shoot at the team. Brian hops on the bus and fights off the guards. He finds Ramsey, Natalie Emanuel, in her cell and has her jump off the bus and onto the hood of Dom's car for safety. He then dukes it out with a minion named Kyat, Tony Jaw, who is a tough fighter. In the madness, the driver of the bus is accidentally shot. Kyat locks Brian on the bus as he gets out. The bus slides toward the edge of a cliff. Brian climbs out and manages to run off the bus and onto Letty's car as she arrives in time to grab him. Meanwhile, Dom and Ramsey encounter Shaw, leading them both through the woods. Roman appears and knocks Shaw off the road. However, Jack and his team find Dom. Before they can get him, he drives his car off a cliff, yet he and Ramsey miraculously survive. The team revives Ramsey, who tells them 
that she gave God's eye to a friend of hers in Abu Dhabi. They all travel there and meet this person, Safer, Ali Faisal, who says he sold God's eye to a prince. The team goes undercover to a party that the prince is throwing. Dom and Brian find that God's eye is in a car. Letty ends up fighting three guards and the prince's bodyguard Kara, Ronda Rousey. Kara alerts the guards that there are intruders, keeping Tej and Ramsey out of their systems. Dom and Brian drive the car out of there before the gates shut the place down. Shaw comes out and tries to shoot at Dom until he drives out of the building and through the next one. Dom discovers that the brakes are out, forcing him and Brian to jump to the next building. The two jump out of the car and pull God's eye out before the car slides out and crashes to the ground below. With God's eye, the team learns that Shaw is hiding out in an abandoned factory. After tracking him there, they see that he has a lot of backup from Jack and the team evades gunfire when Mr. Nobody gets shot in the chaos. Dom carries him out of there and Jack and gets his hands on God's eye. Mr. Nobody calls for medical assistance and tells Dom that he will be leaving him from there. The team knows that it's time to end it with Shaw once and for all. They decide to take the fight back to the streets of their hometown. Brian calls Mia to tell her he loves her in case he doesn't make it back. Mia tells him that they're having a little girl. Brian then promises to come back to her. Ted and Roman take Ramsey with them while they try and hack God's eye to prevent Jackin from finding Ramsey. Dom finds Shaw and lures him to a parking lot where they have their final showdown. They have a street fight, dueling with wrenches and pipes. Meanwhile, Jackin sends a drone to find Ramsey. They end up shooting down an electrical tower, which catches Hobbs' attention after watching it on the news. He announces, Daddy's gotta go to work and breaks off the cast on his arm, and then gears up. Ramsey gets switched under the bridge and goes with Liddy, while Brian tries to find a new spot to hack God's eye. He encounters Kyat again and kills him when he hooks him up to a weight and pushes him down an elevator shaft. The drone chases after Letty and Ramsey, nearly getting them until Hobbs rides in on an ambulance and destroys it. They succeed in the hack, and Jack and is furious. He and his men locate Dom and Shaw still fighting. They shoot a missile at the lot, causing the ground to break beneath Shaw's feet. Dom stomps on the concrete and drops Shaw through the lot. Jack and continues shooting at Dom as he drives away, but Hobbs shoots back. Dom grabs a bag of grenades and drives close enough to stick them onto Jackin's chopper. Hobbs shoots at the bag, destroying the chopper and Jackin. Dom crashes his car and is pulled out by Brian and Letty. Letty begs him to stay alive and says she remembers that they got married in the Dominican Republic. That's where he gave her the cross necklace that Han had. Dom awakens and kisses Letty. Shaw is locked up for good in a maximum security prison. He threatens to break out, though Hobbs doubts that it will ever happen. The team watches Brian and Mia play with Jack on the beach. They realize this is where he belongs, and they look at them lovingly. Dom gets up to leave. Ted asks if he's gonna say goodbye. Dom says, it's never goodbye. He drives away, only to get caught up with Brian on the road. They look at each other with a smile. We hear Dom's voice say that they both lived life at a quarter mile, and that's why they're brothers. This is cut between scenes of Brian through the whole series, and everything he and Dom have been through. Dom says Brian will always be his brother. The two continue driving until they finally part ways, with Brian driving into the sunset. Finally, we see the words, for Paul. 